Hola, buenos días. So for this video, I want to talk about how you should use Quizlet to study your flashcards. And the first and foremost, um, you're going to want to go to your Quizlet and open up the flashcards that you're studying. So um, for now, I'm just going to give you an example set. With right in the middle of the screen, you see the one that says Los Animales. We're going to look at that one right now. So when you're doing your flashcards, you want to make sure that you start, and if this is paper flashcards, it's the same thing, but you want to start with the Spanish side up. So I'm going to hit ca the cards button, and right now it's on English, so if you're using Quizlet to change that on the top right, that little button that has the three lines, you click that and click start with Spanish, and then hit done. Now if you want to hear what the word sounds like, you can turn the audio on, which isn't a bad idea if um, you want to help learn it that way. I would suggest doing that, but for this video I'm going to keep it off just so it doesn't disrupt us. So. Let's say that uh, some of these are really easy. So like seeing the el elefante, you can probably guess that that's elephant. It's super simple, right? So I know that one. El perro is a dog. But let's say you didn't know that one. If you're using Quizlet, on the top right, you see that little star on the flashcard? I'm going to click that star, and I'll show you why in just a second. La ballena, maybe I don't know what that one means yet, so it's a whale. Uh, oops, sorry about that. So I'm going to click star because I don't know that one yet. El gato is a cat. Maybe I know that one. Tigre is obviously tiger. Leon is obviously lion. Pajaro means bird, but maybe I didn't know that one yet. And let's get down to the bottom. Let's do one more. Oso is bear. So, and this is ostrich. Okay. So I'd, I starred five of them, so I didn't know five of the ten. So I'm going to hit that bottom button, study with five stars. Maybe I remember that El Perro is dog, so I'm going to deselect it by clicking that star button. La Ballena is, let's see, um, is it cat? No, it's whale. So I forgot that one, so I'm going to leave it starred. Pajaro, I remember, is bird. El Oso, I remember, is bear. But I forgot what Avestruz means, so I'm going to leave it starred, and now I just have two. I've got, so I've got Ballena and Avestruz. Ballena means whale, and Avestruz is ostrich. Now, if you want to mix these up at any time you can with that button at the top right where it has the two arrows, one going up, one going down, that'll shuffle them. Now since I only have two words, obviously it can't be much of a shuffle. But once I know these words, I'll click the stars and then they go away. And now I know all of them, so I'm going to study them all again, but there's a catch. Now that I know them from Spanish to English, I also need to know them from English to Spanish. So I'm going to click that button at the top right again, change it back. So now, I've, now I have the English showing, so I need to know that elephant in Spanish is el elefante. And since I know it, I'll go to the next one. Now, dog is el perro. Do I know it? Yes, I do. And so on. You just go through. Maybe I forgot what this one is. Maybe I remember that one. Or maybe I forgot that one. And then I forgot that one. So at the very end, I've got three I don't know. Whale, maybe I remember now it's uh, the ballena. La ballena, yep, that's it. Uh, bird is, maybe, since bird, if you look at the spelling of it and you're not totally sure how to pronounce it. Bird. Um, on this side, you're going to hit that button, El pájaro. and it'll tell you how to say it. And actually, Quizlet does a pretty good job of pronouncing the words for you. But maybe I remember it now, so I'll click the star button. Maybe I remember Bears El Oso, Special Agent Oso. And that's it. Uh, I know all my words now. So when you're doing it, start Spanish side up. Flip the stack once you know all the Spanish ones to English, and then do English to Spanish. Now, if you have paper flashcards, the process is the same. You just make two two piles, one pile with the words that you don't know yet, and one pile with the words that you do know. And then once you know them all from Spanish to English, turn the stack over and go that way. I do recommend that you try out the Quizlet thing because not only can you have pictures on your words, but also there are other activities like the Learn activity, which is really good. You can give yourself tests. You can play the matching game, which is kind of cool and then write also. And then I think on the computer, there is also another option to do a spelling one where it spells you the word out. You just hear them, or they hear you, you hear them say it, and then you have to write down what they say, uh, which is a good way to test your listening abilities. That's it for this video. If you have questions about studying your flashcards or Quizlet, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Hasta luego.